Hello viewers, I'm DS your psychologist and welcome to another episode on Channel Need. So recently, Singapore has had a very exciting political scene. What I'm going to do today is to address something that seems to be one of the more insignificant ones. So something has really caught my attention and that is Lee Bi Hua's video on her defense for Shanmugam. So I believe that of all the saga that has been happening in Singapore, this particular aspect, although seemingly insignificant, has got some educational value when we talk about MBTI. But because we're going to talk about politics a lot, I need to really script, so I am going to be careful about this. So you will see me periodically referring to the table where my script is. So Lee Bi Hua is an ex-minister of parliament of Yishun GRC and has since retired from the political scene. I will type her as an ESFJ, so this means that she is FE dominant and her inferior function is TI. So we really need to talk about TI as an inferior function. These two MBTI types have TI as inferior function. What does the inferior function really do? When we are upset, angry or stressed, we tend to use our inferior function, but usually in a childish and unpolished way. So take ENTJs for example. ENTJs like Steve Jobs himself has been known to shout at his staff when he is stressed and angry. So if you are ENTJ or ESTJ, FI is your inferior function. This means that when you are stressed, you are very likely to unleash the emotional demon inside you through different ways. So when I was younger, when I was teaching, when I lose my temper, I have known to flip tables or slam doors. So it is not surprising to see Indrani slam files on the table. Why? Because she's the EXTJ type. So when really angry or provoked, this happens. So let's come back to Li Bihua. When ESFJs do get upset or they feel that there's injustice done, they can have TI triggered. What are the manifestations of inferior TI? One very simple thing, very flawed tunnel vision logic. So in her very short two minute video, she has committed so many logical flaws inside that I just need to address them so that you know what inferior TI entails. Her first logical flaw is that Shamugam is a man of good integrity and is devoted to the community. But based on the history of Singapore itself, how many men that we know are doing good deeds but are in jail now? We have Kong Hee, we have Ming Yi. So there is actually no correlation between being nice and deserving to be respected. And the relation between doing good things and being a man of integrity is not really strong. This is not to say that Shabu Grum is not going to be a man of integrity, but her logical flaw here is quite serious. In Li Bi Hua's video, she has also mentioned that why would one be a politician and sacrifice potentially one billion more dollars had he worked elsewhere. To that, we can easily say that a significant number of people would have chosen politics instead of working for a higher pay because of the potential power and influence that it comes with. Everything is relative. Which brings me to the third point. If you have already decided to become a politician, then you already must have the mental preparation to be criticized and disliked by at least a few people. And it's going to get worse in our modern society because it's so easy to post and discuss all your displeasure on social media. So Li Bi Hua, you should just leave Shang Mugam to suck it up himself. So a fourth logical flaw that I have spotted is that most people who are concerned about this case are upset about why he and Vivian get to stay in prime areas at significant lower than market rate rents. They demand an answer. So indeed, there may have been a lot of netizens who have used abusive language and used terms like snakes, rats, mamba to nickname the lot. But an explanation why they get to live there is the crux of the issue. And obviously, Li Bi Hua, you are in no position to give any explanation to that question. So TE, extroverted thinking, is the function that allows one to see the crux of the problem or to see what really is happening. But the EXFJ types, they do not use TE well at all. So I would say that an explanation such as 
Vivian, he is the Minister of Foreign Affairs, so we need him to upkeep the image of grandeur as he totally represents Singapore when he's hosting foreign delegates. This would have been a better logical explanation than he is a nice person. So although many people will still not buy the first explanation, it is at least more plausible than the, the later that Li Bihua is proposing. Just because he is a nice person, does it mean that he deserves to stay in a GCB? So that totally is illogical and not addressing the issue. Okay, I can really understand why Li Bihua needs to do that because she feels emotionally attached to Shamugam. But what she is really doing is appealing by feelings without the use of logic. It's the same as trying to convince someone who is not Christian to become a Christian by saying, Jesus loves you. Please love Jesus back. Do you think it works? It does not. So this video is not meant to criticize anybody, but as an educational video to showcase how sometimes inferior function can come into play. And if you know MBTI well enough, then you will be able to understand from their point of view and from the holistic picture point of view, what really is happening. So in this case, Li Bihua is really trying to defend a friend, but she did it in such a way that it could have made the matter worse. Take note. 50% of the population are thinkers. They don't really get influenced by feeling appeal much. And of the remaining 50% that are feeling oriented, that means they are the F types, they, I would say that a lot of them may be already siding against Shamugam. So what you are doing is futile because you are only talking to the people who are already on your side. As a politician, you are already in the limelight, so you really need to understand your own MBTI type and note what your inferior function is because your inferior function is going to play you down and going to betray you if you do not watch it. I hope that you have found this video interesting and useful. If you have not already subscribed, do consider subscribing so that we can bring you more MBTI videos and fun stuff. Okay, I'm going to sign off now and I'll see you in our next episode. Bye-bye.